Hi, Jeremy. So, gents, good evening. Um, first ever Twilight meet for the 800. Obviously, a last minute job, but it's great to see some uh, some well known faces on that podium. Guy, how is it for you today? Yeah, it was good. I just want to you know, thank everyone for coming out tonight. It's been an amazing meeting. Obviously, it was put together last minute for us, so we going to have a crack at this time. So, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it, but you know, that was always amazing. Everyone cheering us the whole way around, so. Yeah, it was incredible. And Mark, for you to get to get the win there, agonisingly close, obviously. How did that feel coming down that home straight? Yeah, I felt good. It felt good. Maybe not as good as I felt in Birmingham, but it felt much better than I had in Birmingham during the week. Uh, so, fingers crossed to get the one now off the back of um, the 25 Of course, take all the positives that you can from the, the Diamond League win that you got there. Um, and for for you, Spencer, how is that coming off the back of a British champs uh, gold medal? Yeah, really good. I had the same problem as Guy. We were scrambling around trying to get a race, so Mark's put this on and the crowd that came out was great, so we gave it a crack and that's what matters really, so. Yeah, no doubt a, uh, a track record for, for us at Tunbridge, no, no top three has ever run particularly that fast. Um, races over this year, Guy for you obviously tantalisingly close to that standard um, in, in the Diamond League, um, does that rank in one of your top races this season? Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know what my time was. 46. Okay. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's up there. I've run a few 146s quite a lot this year, so it was nice doing it on home soil. Oh, in the, in the UK anyway. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's a shame we can get the time, but as I said, we'll, we'll give it a crack anyway. And so, Mark, for you, obviously your next your next step will be hopefully getting the selection for Doha. Um, looking on to next year for all three of you, um, what's what's the sort of the big plan as, as such? Well, it's qualifying for Tokyo, obviously, it's a big plan. Like Doha, it's hard, but it's not. It's nothing like flipping game, so it's all really about next year. Fantastic, same, same exactly. again, yeah, all I the same. I think I'm going to miss an indoor season next year. Yeah. Chat to my coach, but I think that's the rough plan, and uh, just get ready for the Olympics. And so there's. Uh, I'd like to say that there's not too many events like this um, in Britain at the moment that are held, but across Europe um, there's, there's quite a fair few. Would you say that British Athletics and uh, other institutes need to put on similar events to this to oh, yeah, raise definitely. the profile of it? Just with the crowd and the music and all the, you know, everyone coming around the track and going all the way around, it's not, we went out there on our own. Um, you can, I, I feel like that encouraging me anyway, so yeah, there's more stuff than this. this is, uh, it's an incredible night, anyway. Sounds a few, all the same. Boys, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming down. I hope to see you soon. Cheers. Best of luck in the winter. Congratulations.